fields in and around SCOBY are green at first sight, but if you take a closer look, you'll see they're being damaged by grasshoppers. Daniels County has a population of about 1,600. It doesn't take long to see there's way more grasshoppers and they are affecting lots of people in the county. This one field, for example, has been damaged by grasshoppers. Everything in the blue rectangle has been eaten up by the bugs. Everywhere you look, there seem to be grasshoppers. In buildings, hitchhiking on cars, eating crops and other plants, and it has many residents concerned. The grasshopper infestation is the worst it's been here for quite a while. A lot of the farmers, there are several of them who are actually on their third trip of trying to um, do pest control. If you actually look at the fields in the area, you can actually see where they've literally eaten the leaves off the plants. Farming and ranching is our backbone. It is the lifeline of our community. And if the farmers and ranchers have a bad year, so do the, the local businesses. So um, we all do what we can. Local agronomists have been seeing an increase in pesticide sales as well. Oh, 80% more just last year, and then we are probably up probably 50%. There's guys throwing in hopper, hopper spray in crop, which is pretty early. Pro Co-op Ag Center's most common choice, they say, costs about 2 to $3 an acre. It's not the most effective, but it's the best option compared to other chemicals that run about $10 an acre. I've seen fields with, you know, there's hundreds in a square yard when a, a threshold is two spray is around 30 to 40. Take a step and the ground moves and they're flying all in, all up in your face. And some guys are kind of down, down when they come in here and have to buy more because it's their, you know, third, fourth time. But for the most part, we got really good crops right now. We've been pretty fortunate, so guys are just trying to do what they can to protect them. Farmers will still be able to harvest some crops, but everyone in Daniels County is counting on a cold winter to help with next summer and hopefully solve the grasshopper problem. In SCOBY, Asher Lined, MTN News.